What up, what up, welcome back to the channel, I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. This is the recap for episode 3 of The Penguin on HBO called The Bliss. Now, we're following The Penguin and Hangman as they're on a journey to try to take over the family because remember, Uncle Luca, he didn't came in and he put his foot down. Now, they did eliminate some of the people to try to figure out who was the snitch back door and everything, but of course The Penguin came through and figured that out. Now, before we break down this episode, if you like the penguin, if you like these recaps, then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time we upload. Make sure you hit that like button. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into this because now they got the product that Al was supposed to put on the streets, and Penguin is one step closer to taking over Gotham. We start the episode off with Vic going to his house. Now, we see his mother, his father, and his sister, and his dad. He's looking for some unique parts. Now, Vic does find them, and he's telling his dad, listen, the guy you work for, he's overworking you. And to find parts like this, he should be paying you more. Because remember, Vic is working for Oz, and the reason he's doing that is because he wants a better life than what he has. Also, Oz kind of called him up and took his ID. But even the sister is in agreement that their father needs to make more money. But the father says, I know where we came from and how we're living. This is good enough for us. Now, Vic ends up getting the text matches from his girlfriend, and they're about to meet up. Now, his father is asking him, hey, you're meeting up with Charlie? His cousin Squid isn't there because he's a bad guy. Squid sells drugs, and he doesn't want his son around him. So when they get there, they're hanging with Charlie, but Squid does show up. Now, they're all out, and they're on the rooftop overlooking the city of Gotham, because there's going to be fireworks tonight. And as our boy Vic is getting a kiss in with his girl, we hear some explosions and we're thinking that it's fireworks. But in reality, it's bombs going off. Boom, boom, boom. So we can only assume that this is the Riddler doing this. And all the water is just flooding through the cities and we're losing family members. Everyone that's out on the streets, on these bridges, they're dying. There's no way out of this. At Oz's house, we see Vic looking out the window. Now, Oz, he's getting prepared because our girl, the hangman, is about to show up. Now, before she even shows up, Oz is like, listen, you need to start working for me. You're going to be my driver full time. I'm going to give you $1,000 a week to start you off. Now, remember, closed mouths don't get fed. So what does Vic say? He says, well, I want $2,000. And Oz is like, I like that. I like that. But you're not getting $2,000. Now, when the hangman shows up, he's like, staller, because I got to get ready. He ends up getting a phone call from Sal. Now, remember, Oz is playing both sides. Sal was in the prison, and he wants to know what's going on on the outside. And then we got the hangman trying to get her Uncle Luca out of here. Sophia shows up, and it's up to Vic to stall her while Oz is on the phone with Sal. Now, he's a little bit nervous, and we know that he stutters. And the reason he's nervous is because he had to do with Al being unalive, her brother, and with the jewels, the jewelry that he was trying to set up in Johnny's car. So when she gets in here, he's stuttering, and he's, oh, uh, uh, I'm the me 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 mechanic, and now now I'm the dr driver for, for, for Oz. She's like, well, if you're the mechanic. Why can't you get this lighter to work? He's very, very nervous. But she lights it up. Oz eventually comes out the room. Vic did everything he could. Now, Sophie's like, come on. We're about to head on out. No time to stall. No time to wait. Oz is telling Vic, all right, let's get ready to go. She says, no, just you. Vic ain't going. It's just going to be you and I, and you're going to drive like you used to. Because remember, Oz never told the story about driving for Sophie. He always said that he was driving for the, their father. But in reality, he was driving around Sophia, but he didn't ever want Vic to understand that. He tells Vic, don't do anything silly because I'll know if you did it. I can sense it. Sophia and Oz, they show up to the docks. Now, when they get here, they go and talk to the guy and those jewels that they had. They give it to him as a payment for all the drugs and everything that's coming in. Now, Oz doesn't really know what's going on. And he's playing it by wings saying, well, Al didn't tell me all the details. He's not detail oriented. Oz and Sophie go inside the warehouse and we meet the chemist by the name of Trey Bloom. Now, when they go into the back room, 
they find out where this new drug is coming from called Bliss. And it looks like little bitty blood crystals that come off of mushrooms. What is actually the mushroom bleed. And what they do is they take that, they harden it up, they add some other substance to it, and then they put that on the street. So now Oz is finally seeing what this new drug is that Al was proposing before he unalived him. While Vic is sitting at the house, he ends up hitting Garciella back up because he couldn't go on the trip with Oz. Now when she gets over, he orders some pizza, he got some beers, he got a little bit of money in his pocket. And she's asking him, who is this guy? He's like, he's a club owner. She's like, well, I just want to break the news to you because things are going good. But since the flood and all of their family members have passed away because of the bombings, she's saying, listen, I'm going to California and I'm leaving tomorrow. Now, Vic, he's nervous because he doesn't know what Oz is going to do. But he eventually comes to his senses and tell her, go to the Gotham train station or bus station and buy me a ticket also. Because Oz is on the way back and I got to get you out of here. So he gives her about $400, $500 and he's like, I'm going to meet you. Back at the house, since everything is in chaos, they're trying to figure out what exactly is the next move. Luca's locking down the place. He got more security because he doesn't want anyone to backdoor him and he doesn't want any inside rats. So Jimmy comes and talks to Sophia and saying, we got more security. But listen, you got to understand your uncle Luca, he's running the business. This means you got to go back to Italy and you got two days to get out of here. Now, Sophia and Oz are trying to make a play with this new drug bliss. But Luca, he's not trusting anybody, so he wants to lock things down, meaning she's got to go. With news that Sophia is potentially going to have to go back to Italy in two days, they have to speed up the process. So they go and meet up with the triad gang, and they're going to try to move their product through there. We see Oz hop out with a lot of booze, and the reason for it is because when he goes to talk to Ling Tao, who is the deputy commander up under the whole triad organization, you have to have a peace offering when you show up. So when they get in here, it's not like you're coming in here BS. And it's like, hold on, let's talk this out. I have an offer on the table. While Oz and Sophie are in there trying to negotiate a deal, we see our boy Vic sitting outside. Now, Vic, he's trying to pep talk himself. He's trying to give himself, all right, let me motivate myself. Let me give myself the motivation to tell Oz, you know, I, 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 would, never, never, I would never rat on you. But I, I, I'm going to go to um, Calif- I'm going to go to California with, with, with my girlfriend. Eyes, and I, I, I appreciate everything you did but while he's doing this. The police show up and knock on his door. Now, this cop knocks on Vic's window. And the reason for it is because he's idling in the loading zone. Pretty much you can't be there unless you're loading or unloading. And once you get done doing that, you need to get up out of here. So. He's asking Vic, are you nervous? He's like, N- I-, I just stutter. He said, okay, that's enough of that, son. Turn around. He pats him down and he finds about five, $600 on him. And Vic plays it cool and he says, I-, I-, I don't have any money. So the cop took the money and told him to get out of there whenever his boss comes back. Oz is sitting down talking to Link and he's trying to convince him, listen, we got a new product. We really actually want to talk to the head of the triad organization because this product is going to make a lot of money. But Link is saying, nah, we're not doing that. Oz, you already been BSing, so what you got? Now, Sophie, she actually steps up and says, nah, 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 we're good. We're in business together. So the only way that they can legitimize what Oz is saying, he said he wants someone in the organization. And who does Oz say in the organization that is backing them? Johnny. And, you know, he's been trying to get at Johnny for a while. So now we have to figure out how to get Johnny to make a call to say that he has the support of Oz and Sophia. Oz and Vic, they go and eat after this little situation because we got to figure out how to get Johnny Vitti on here. Now, while they're sitting here, he's explaining how he got out of that ticket with the police. And Oz is like, man, that's a part of the game. You win some, you lose some. But as Vic is trying to order some steak fritas, he stutters a little bit. And then we see Oz correct the waiter and tell him, don't you don't you cut him off. He's talking. But after all of this conversation, Oz, he asked Vic about his family and they propose a toast to his father, who sounded like a hardworking man. And of course, he's trying to keep Vic close. So he's telling Vic, your father would be 
very appreciative of you. He would be smiling down on you right now. But it's back to business. And across the table, we see Tina. Well, Oz went over to Tina and said, I need a favor from you. It's going to sting. Now, if you remember, Johnny has been messing around with Luca's wife, the boss's wife, who was Tina. So what do they do? They send Tina in there, and then they bust in the door. Blackmail at his fine. Now, basically what they're telling Johnny is, listen, you're going to call the triad. You're going to notify them that you give us the support to go and talk to them. Now, Johnny's like, that's not going to work. So, Oz has to apply a little bit of pressure. Shoves the phone down his mouth. Is like, you piece of ish. You're hanging out, Sophie. The family, you were supposed to be supporting us. But now you let Luca take over. We're all going to get rich behind this. I'm going to get some money. Sophia's going to get the family back. And you'll survive and you'll be able to have Tina. So long story short, Johnny's got to make that call. And Bliss is about to hit the triad market. It's time to put Bliss to work. They go to the club. They got all the girls here. The girls are going to be running. Security knows who they are. Vic got the bag. If you need to re-up, go to him. It's $20 a pop. And at the end of the night, Oz is going to make sure you're right. So after all the ladies leave, he looks at Vic and tells him, Hey, Vic, I wouldn't be asking you to do this if I didn't believe that you could get it done. Now, Vic is also looking at his phone because he's supposed to be meeting up with his girlfriend. But I think Oz is sensing, I mean, this young brother's up to something. I need to keep him working. The girls are working they butt off. They got Vic in here, re up and re up and re up. He's talking about how much more. They said, just give us the bag. Oh, yeah, Bliss is in the air. Sophia sits down with Mr. Zhao. Now, she already had to tell Oz. Mr. Zhao was here to meet Sophia, not her former driver, Oz, because we know that Oz is really the one trying to put in that work. Now, when they get here, there's a little disagreement. The price has been going up on the product, but Mr. Zhao is like, me and the Falcons, we didn't have a good business relationship. Your father pushed us out to Chinatown, and when he passed, I popped a bottle of champagne. Now, Sophia is saying, yeah, when he died, I went and danced on his grave. But listen, I know a little bit about your father and also. And if you look at the city, they're going through it right now. And this drug can change everything. And that's a lot of money in your pocket. So Mr. Zao was hearing it. And he's like, well, she does have a point. Young boy Vic is out here. One of the girls that we've seen around. Remember, she came to the house. She's like, bad boy, come and dance. But while they're in here, the music is going off. Loud noises. PTSD is kicking in. Vic then dropped the bag of bliss. He's thinking that the explosions are going off. And when he looks up, he sees his girlfriend right in front of him. He's hallucinating. He's tripping out. She's been texting him. Have you talked to your boss? I'm at the train station. I'm at the bus stop. Where are you at? Oz is celebrating and he's going to find Vic. Because Vic is the bag boy and the deal went through. Now, Vic is getting text messages from his girlfriend. And Oz is like, wait a minute. Give me that phone because he already sensed that something was off. So he automatically assumed that Vic was about to dip with the money and the drugs. But Vic is like, nah, nah, it's just everything I'm doing, I'm thinking is wrong. My dad would be so ashamed of me. And Vic is, he's confused. He wants to leave, but he, he wants to stay. And well, Oz tells him, before you met me, you didn't have anything. I gave you the opportunity. But if you want to leave, then get the hell out of here. And what do we see? Vic leaves. Vic went down to the bus stop and he's sitting there and you can tell he wants to cry. But as he watches his girlfriend get on the bus, he doesn't say nothing. He doesn't send the message. He watches her leave the city and it looks like he can't give the game up. Now, there's been an undertone throughout the whole episode. We even heard Johnny talk about, hey, how does Sophia feel about what you did to her while she was locked up? And we see Oz start to at least confess. Yeah, okay, I did do some backdooring. I did do some backstabbing. But I had to do what I had to do to get what I got. Yeah, I got the club. Yeah, I got all of this. But I'm sorry now, and I still want to do business with you. Now, from the outside looking in, we know what Oz is really doing here. He's trying to figure out a way to get her up and out the way. But he still has to make this seem a little bit believable. Because this business partnership could take him a long way. 
once Vic makes it back to the club after he didn't turned around and let his girl ride off into the sunset, he sees that Sophia and Oz, they're on the ground because Sal's wife is here. And she's like, we've been watching. So what does Vic do? He makes an executive decision, drives through the gate and runs over one of the guys. Oz hops up in the whip and they got to go. As they driving off, all you hear is eyes hyping them up. I knew you'd come back, Vic. I knew you couldn't leave the game alone. But Vic got a mini concussion. He could barely keep his eyes open. But eyes is hype. And they even let Sophia, <laughs> they let her stay behind because this is Oz's plan to try to take over everything. All right, there you go to recap for episode three, The Bliss of the Penguin. Let me know what you think about Vic. Were you kind of hesitant and thinking that he was going to leave at first? Or did you think that Vic was going to come back and be a part of Oz's entourage? Because right now, Oz is on the rise, but we're going to have to see how this plays out with Sophia. Let me know what you think. I'm Moet IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.